a modified day of cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan, Cousin Stevie and Patty. It's a long video. You just read a whole story about this video. So I'm going to just say I am still amazed. I don't know why about how different the same cheesesteak can be from four different places. And I'm going to flip it right over to the video. Here we are at an undisclosed location. Gladwin Market, Gladwin, PA, a modified day of cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan ended on a high note. Gladwin Market, I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised there's a good cheesesteak in Gladwin. Think of Gladwin, think of good stuff. Cheesesteaks are made of steak. Good steak, good cheesesteak, good place, all good. Because of the modified day of cheesesteaks, this poor cheesesteak sat in its wrapper for two hours, but still tasted very good. You can see the roll. Two hours did some damage to the roll, but the roll is still good. It wasn't very pretty. She wasn't much to look at, but she ate well. Meat, good amount of meat, thicker slice, very tasty meat, good flavor in that meat. Cheese, very good amount of cheese. Melted well throughout the cheesesteak, and the extras were uh, blended in nice also. You could tell they spent some time together, got to know each other. This was a darn good all-around cheesesteak. Even after two hours, you'll be seeing more of this baby in an upcoming triple-double secret event. What? What's that, Jim? Another double-secret triple event? What? Okay. I, I'm, I'm a magnet for stupidity. All right, day of cheesesteaks, an abbreviated day of cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan and Cousin Stevie is starting right here in good old Old Gladwin Pet Supply, Old Gladwin Hardware, and the Gladwin Market House. Gladwin Market. So, I like it. <clears throat> now, it's been <clears throat> it's been a while since it was made, so I'll take that into account. Um, Poor roll. Yeah, for the, you know, the roll. But actually, it's got a good flavor. It's heavy. And um, it's it's definitely looks like it spent time, according to the Philadelphia Cheesesteak Authority, it spent time on the grill together. That's me. That's him. All mixed in. Um, so, I like it. I, I, I do like it. But I'd like to hear from Patty. Very good. I like the different peppers in here. There's red, there's yellow, there's green. And you know who else I'd like to hear from? I'd like to hear from Cousin Steve. Well, I think Dr. Sam is good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty tasty. Mm-hmm. But, you know, again, it is a little cooled off. But, um, yeah, no complaints. Nice. I'd buy it again. I mean, it was hotter. It probably had a little more flavor to it, too. Vito's Pizza, King of Prussia, PA. A modified day of cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan, Patty, and Cousin Stevie. Amigo Dan rips this cheesesteak in the video, so I'll say all the nice things here. I mean, it was a good, solid pizza shop cheesesteak. Vito's is a clean, nice little family-run place tucked away there in King of Prussia. Quiet little part with Schuylkill Expressway right over the hill. I feel like you're in the country. Yeah, good, solid pizza shop cheesesteak. Amigo Dan got on a roll, pun intended. He uh, He's very particular about his rolls, and I think that got him started, and he just ripped into the rest of the cheesesteak. So, I don't think it was as bad as he made it out to be pretty solid pizza shop cheesesteak. Modified day of cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan continues at Vito's Pizza, King of Prussia, inside the Village Mart. Quiet little uh, Schuylkill Expressway, uh, not Tennyson Road, Schuylkill Expressway is right up there. Quiet little spot back here. There was a bird singing. I just want to stop talking so you could hear the bird, but he stopped. Hey, are we going? So, um, my meat was it doesn't have such a bad flavor, but it's a little dry. The whole thing is a little dry. It needs more cheese, more onion, more green pepper, to tell you the truth. And then what they're doing is, you know, the normal roll and the 
bakers putting the sesame seeds on it. Yeah, it's okay. It's not great. Comes deep. I think it's good. I just, the meat is a little dry. And they're probably going to use a little more, definitely more pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Yeah. I think it's lacking in the bread department. <clears throat> but the roll's not good or the bread? I think the flavor is good, but the roll just kind of falls apart. I don't think it's, um, they don't get, it's all about the bread part, you know? Yeah, I'd have to tend to agree with the roll. A little disappointed in the roll. But I'm happy with the onion, green pepper, and red pepper. Yeah. It actually gives it a really good flavor. And cheesy too. I mean, it Yep, cheesy. Mine's not real cheesy. Oh, yours isn't real cheesy. Mm -mm. Oh. Well, huh. you, you took like an end, but... No, I didn't. Oh, okay. I, I stand corrected. Yes, you do. Actually, you sit corrected. But oh, I like yeah. the flavors of the green and the red pepper in here. Yeah, and like I said, it did a good job with the onion. Um, yeah, the cheese is good. Mine's moist. Uh, you know, I think what... What hurts it is the roll, like yeah. like Steve says. I'm a little light on the cheese too. Uh -huh. hmm. Anthony's Pizza and Italian Restaurant, Malvern, PA. A day of modified cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan, Cousin Stevie, and Patty ended on a very good note. We really liked Anthony's. The core of this cheesesteak was a good example of good ingredients made very well. The roll meat and cheese, good balance, good quality, worked really well together. In honor of Cousin Stevie visiting, we got uh, green peppers, fried onions, and green peppers. The fried onions, because we always get the fried onions. The green peppers, in honor of Cousin Stevie. And they were good. They spent time together. They got to know each other. If I had to pick on one thing, Really look with a fine tooth. Well, not even really with a fine tooth comb, but if I had to look for something, the one thing I would point out would be the distribution of the fried onions and peppers. That could have been a little better, a little more even. But uh, other than that, we really uh, we enjoyed this cheesesteak. A day of modified cheesesteaks begin, continues in Malvern, Anthony's. Luckily, I did a bad job parking, so I got a chance to redo my video. Silver Linings Boutique. Huh, interesting. Interesting play on a movie. <laughs> All right. Modified Day of Cheesesteaks with Amigo Dan. Hey, how are you? We're in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Like, you don't know where this is. <laughs> do you want to... Do you want to... You want to uh, announce our guest eaters? Sure, I do. To my right is Patty. Say hi, Patty. Hi. And then to your left, Cousin Steve. Hola. I think everybody's going to remember him from <laughs> Shrimp Scampi. <laughs> yes. Cous Cousin Steve. <laughs> he loved that Shrimp Scampi so mm. much he came back for more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Camperoni. <laughs> we got to go right off the bat here, huh? Yeah, I definitely think good. so. Anthony's Malvern. Malvern. You know what? I like it. We ordered it with um, onion and green pepper. I, I, I would expect a little bit more green pepper. There's not as much green pepper on there. I don't really taste a lot. But... Looks like they did a good job getting it all melted together, and uh, the roll's holding up, and it's got a really good flavor to it. You know, the funny part is, is uh, you didn't like it, did you? Mine's gone. Very good. <laughs> no complaints. You only cut it in thirds. I didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having Stone Armor flashback. <laughs> I think it's happened once before. I, I think they do a real nice... Yeah, I think it's a really good cheesesteak. But you know what? I think uh, 
a little, maybe a little bit better because there, see, like you're seeing pepper now. Well, it's the big pieces of peppers and onions. And I think uh, when we started out, there was a big pepper on Steve's piece, I think. I mean, yeah, you, you, I mean, you, they were scattered around, but it was, if anything, I'd say you had more pepper. But other than that, it was really good. I can no complaints at all. And when you get the bite with the pepper and the onion in it, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah I think it's really good. I think the, the, yeah, the one thing, if we had to pick on something, maybe dis distribution of peppers and onions, maybe a little yeah, bit. It all depends on who's making it, but it was good. I mean, where's a good example, too? Like that, you know, you see a lot of good cheese, and there's one little dry patch. So that's how nitpicky we can be with this one. <laughs> and Patty, since you didn't get any, you, 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 yeah, poor Patty. You, by it's by visual, then, how, how does it look, Patty? <laughs> look and smell. <laughs> <I'm starving. laughs> you would have really.